In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this composite using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Ruel here. And as you can see, this is the final output. The effect looks a bit complex, but it's actually not that difficult to do. So first of all, let's go to file menu and open the background photo. So click open. And here, select the photo, hit open. Uh, now, uh, as you can see, uh, before we start the effect, we need to remove this uh, object from the bottle so we can add the uh, girl photo instead. For that, double click on your background and hit OK so to unlock it. After that, you can make a copy of it just to be safe. So Command J. Uh, then uh, select your polygon lasso tool. So it's this one. Right click here and select polygon lasso. Zoom in. You can also use Command Plus to zoom in. Uh, and then make selection of the object. And if you make a mistake and you want to delete something, you can use your delete key or backspace uh, and it will remove the dots. And when you are at the end, just double click and it will turn it into a selection. Now uh, you can use keyboard shortcut shift delete uh, and it will open up this box. Uh, you can also go to your uh, edit menu and here you will have this fill option and it will do the same thing as you can see. So uh, once you have this, uh, you can select content aware here and then hit OK and Photoshop will do its magic and remove the object. Now the object is gone, but as you can see, we have a little bit of problem. So to fix that, first of all, uh, let's go to select and deselect to remove the selection. Now we need to patch up few things here and it will happen. It's completely okay. So uh, for that right click here and select your clone stamp tool. Now to use this, you need to first uh, tell Photoshop, okay, I want to copy this area from here and put it here. So to do that, hold your option key and do a click somewhere around here. So it's always easier to follow lines, you know, so do a click here and then you can just paint it away. Then you can go a little bit here and then do another line here like this. So that's done. Now we need to fix this area. So again, hold your option key and uh, give Photoshop an area. Okay, like Photoshop copy things from here. So you do that, click here and then you can just patch it up. Now it will look a little bit weird right now, but once we apply the photo of the girl and add all the reflections, it, it won't look, uh, it will not be visible. So don't worry about it. Just make sure there is like nothing very massive. So this looks all right. Now we can add the photo of girl. For that, again, go to file and this time you will select place embedded. And here select the photo of the girl and place it. Now I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So hold your shift key and then make it small and place it somewhere around here. Now you can reduce your opacity without losing transform option. So just reduce it a little bit. Now I'm going to zoom in. So this is how you will align the photo of the model. It ends like the water is right at the top. So you can do the same thing in the composite. Just align this line with this line. Go a little bit up. Uh, because like the water has curve and the girl photo is straight. So go a little bit up here like this and then let's see. Okay, we can center the composition and adjust it. So now I'm happy with the size of the photo, but another problem is that the bottle is a round object and the girl photo is like completely flat. So to fix that, we can use warp tool. For that, make sure the model photo is active, then press Command T or Control T and it will bring up the options again. Then you can right click and select Warp. Now we need to uh, like uh, make the photo bigger from the center. Uh, so to do that, just take the handles and stretch it out like this outwards, but not too much, okay? I'm happy with how it looks, then I'm going to hit enter uh, to confirm it. So the photo is perfectly placed. Now all we have to do is remove the outside area. For that, uh, apply a layer mask from here on your photo, get your brush tool. Now hardness, uh, let's keep it like 40 to 50%. We don't need it like very hard, very soft. 
and for the color it's black because we want to hide the parts so once this is ready you can just go and start erasing uh, whatever is outside and also erase the photo from this line okay like we don't want it here keep it completely inside one simple trick you can do is do a, let's say a click here like this click then hold your shift key and then do a click here like this and it will just erase everything in straight line and makes your life a bit easier so as you can see the photo is perfectly aligned of course I'm doing it a little bit fast due to tutorial but you can always take your time and you know erase things carefully so this is good enough uh, now we can go and make the opacity of the photo full so let's go and make it 100% and this is what it should look like now I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter for that go to your adjustment options and here select curves and in the curves turn on your clipping mask so whatever changes you do it will only apply on the layer below the model layer now I'm gonna go and make it a little bit brighter and I also want to lift the shadow so I will uh, like make a point here as well and try to make it a little bit bright this looks okay we can close it now we have this empty space here that we need to fix for that create a new blank layer click on this second last icon and rename it to empty space fix then uh, grab your brush tool uh, right click and make sure hardness is uh, sorry 0% zero percent okay uh, and then you have to pick up a color from here so hold down your option key and you will get the color picker and then you can click here so now you have the similar blue color and then make your brush bigger use your bracket keys for that and then just paint it like this so now this is fixed the reason why I made the brush so big and painted like this so the transition is a bit softer with bigger brush uh, now I can just reduce the opacity to see what's the outside area get my eraser tool and then erase whatever is outside once you are happy you can go and make the opacity full again so now we are almost there now we can start adding in the reflections now to add the reflections we need to use the original layer here the layer zero copy this one that we created you know uh, without the object rename it to original for less confusion now we need to make copy of it so for that press command J take this and put it on top of everything and rename it to reflection one so I'm just gonna call it ref one now change blending mode of this layer to vivid light so go and put it on vivid light so as you can see now we already have some really nice reflections but it's all over the place and it's too strong so first of all I'm gonna apply a layer mask so apply a mask from here and then when your mask is active press command I so it will basically hide everything that's in the layer it's still there it's just hidden now get your brush tool and now we will use white color because we, we want to bring something back so I'm gonna make the brush a bit smaller and paint on top of the uh, model or like in bottle where I want the reflections looks good now to make it less harsh I'm gonna go and change the opacity to 20% uh, so now we have really subtle reflections uh, so we can build on this now so take the reflection one this layer and then make a copy of it so press command J so you have a copy but this layer I'm gonna go and change the blending mode to hard light and make the opacity something like 70 percent so now if I turn it on and off as you can see we have this really nice reflection but there is like a too much uh, like a fogginess uh, to fix that double click on this layer not on the name but a little bit far double click so you get the blending options and in the blending option uh, you have this blend if gray so here make sure you have gray then on the first slider hold your option key and drag this all the way to the right so make sure you hold your option key so you just you know you have better blending so drag this all the way to the right so now you can see the fogginess is like a lot less 
and then hit OK. Now I'm going to rename the layer so there is less confusion. So let's just name it. OK, now let's make another copy of this. So Command J, so we have a copy. But this time, first we need to remove all the layer styles. So right click and select clear layer styles. So it will be on normal blend mode and you don't have anything on it. Now, uh, what you have to do is get your brush tool. Uh, make sure your layer mask is active, not the photo, but the layer mask that is active. Then make it big, but it shouldn't be bigger than the size of the bottle. Okay. So I'm going to keep it somewhere around here. This, this is like a seems okay size. Then make sure you have black color here because we need to erase the middle portion. So now this is what you will do. Do a click here somewhere around on top like this here. Do a click then hold your shift key and then do a click here at the bottom like this. And you should have something like this. The original bottle but just on the sides. Uh, then change the opacity to something like 50%. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, we have those like a nice reflections on the side, which helps the bottle look like a more rounder. The photo looks a lot less flat and we are done with the reflections. Now we can do some color correction to give photo some more life. For that, I'm going to go to my adjustment layers and here's get a selective color. It's the last option. Uh, and then here in the blacks, I'm going to go and make it like minus five or six. So minus six looks okay. Then I'm going to go to my neutrals and I want to add a little bit of blue. So this looks okay. And then I might add a little bit of red. You don't now this is like your personal taste. However, you want to like uh, add colors to it. Uh, so I think that looks okay. Now I'm going to create another adjustment layer and this time select vibrance and I'm going to make it all the way to 100 because I think this photo really needs like a little bit of colors. It looks really washed out. That is done. Okay, now I want to apply camera raw filter on this and for that we need to create a snapshot of it. So create a new blank layer. Click on the second last icon. You have blank layer and then press command option shift and E. So you have everything on one single layer. Then rename it to camera raw to keep things tidy. Camera raw. After that, turn it into a smart object. So right click and then convert to smart object. Then go to your filter and here select camera raw filter. So in the camera raw, uh, I'm gonna first make it a little bit warmer. Here you can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to make it look like, you know, what you saw in the intro. <laughs> but you can do as you wish. Uh, then I'm going to add a little bit of contrast, so maybe 10 or 11%. Uh, I'm going to reduce the shadows a bit or maybe pump them up. Uh, then completely make the blacks 100% because I kind of like that uh, like a look where there is like a not too much shadow. Then I'm going to add a little bit of clarity. And then a little bit of dehaze. I just like the look it creates. So maybe 20 ish percent. Uh, and then because we applied all of these corrections, the saturation is too much. Uh, so I'm going to go and reduce the vibrance a little bit. And that looks good. Then I'm going to hit OK. So uh, this is with the camera raw and this is without the camera raw. Very subtle changes, but uh, it makes the photo look a little bit better. Everything looks good. Now we can also add that blue color in the glass water. Uh, so for that, just get your brush tool and make sure you have the same blue color. If you don't have it, it's don't stress it. Just create new blank layer and rename it to glass water. And then make sure you have your brush tool, uh, zoom in. And you can again, just hold your option key and pick up a color from here. It just have to be similar shade of blue, not the same. So don't stress over it. Then change the blending mode of this glass water to soft light and then you can just paint or maybe let's try overlay wait was it overlay or soft light. Uh, let's try overlay. Okay. And then you can just paint it. And I can add a little bit here as well. So now it's outside uh, but that's okay. We can just get eraser tool. So here eraser tool and then erase it from where we don't need it.
and if you want to make it a little bit stronger you can just press command j so the color is like a lot more stronger but okay it's too much now <laughs> so i'm gonna make it like 30 40 percent and that's how you can also add the blue shade uh, i'm gonna erase it from here it's too much okay so that's how you can add the blue color uh so yeah that's it this is the final output uh, I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. If you want to check out more videos by me you can visit my channel or click on any of these videos and you can also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification icon so every time I upload a new video you will get an update. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop.